Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to guide you how to install NeoVim in a Windows machine and also how to configure it however you want. So NeoVim is a text editor based on Vim. It is a keyboard intensive text editor meaning that you can do everything and anything using the keyboard in NeoVim and you did not need to use the mouse and to install NeoVim in Windows, it's a different, completely different process from installing NeoVim in Linux or Mac OS. So I'm going to guide you how to install NeoVim. So let's get started. To install NeoVim in Windows machine, you are going to need Chocolatey, which is a package manager. To install Chocolatey, you will need to open PowerShell and PowerShell with administrator privileges. And then you are going to run a couple of commands in PowerShell, which are going to be linked in the description below and you can copy paste them to your partial window then you will paste the commands here which you will copy from the description below the first one is get execution policy it will list the policy we have the permissions we have and it will return us something so it will take a little bit of time So in most cases it's going to return as restricted. In case it could in your case it could be all signed or bypass. If it is all signed or bypass, you are going to skip this scrap step. And if it is restricted, you are going to paste this command. And if it is all signed or bypass in your case, you are not going to do this command set execution policy all signed. This is only for the people who have got restricted there. We are going to run this command. Here we are going to input A yes to all. And now we have set our execution policy. You will again run the first command to check that we have the policy of all signed. Yes, we have the policy of all signed. Now we are going to install chocolatey. And to install chocolate, you are going to paste this very big command, which is going to be linked down in the description. No need to worry. And we are going to run this. It's going to take a little bit of time to install chocolatey, and I'll fast forward the video till then. So here we are with chocolatey installed, and we need to do some steps before we can start using chocolatey. We are going to click, we are going to open File Explorer. And from there, we are going to right click on the this PC icon and then we are going to open its properties. From there, from this window, we are going to click on advanced system settings and we are going to add some environment variables and you need to click on the environment variables thing. And in the bottom section, which says system variables, you are going to find path and double click on it. And there, you are going to find this thing. This is going to also be linked in the description below and you are going to edit it by double clicking it and you are going to remove the bin from there and you are going to copy this thing this is and again this is going to be linked in the description and you can copy the commands from there and then in the above section you are going to again click path remember this is for the top section which says user variables you are going to click path and you are going to add a new path say new and then you are going to add this here we are going to say okay again okay okay and we are going to close all the windows and we are going to open partial again we are going to run partial as an administrator now again so here we are going to type choco minus v that's going to return us the version of chocolatey and if it returns a version number that means chocolatey has been successfully installed in our system so it returns us an error that means that chocolatey has not been clearly and rightly installed in our system so we are going to fix that error we are going to change our environment variables by going to manage property by going to properties of this pc in file explorer and then we are going to advanced system settings environment variables and we are going to recheck that we added 
the correct paths. We have added the correct paths and I don't know why this ain't working. So we are just going to try and launch PowerShell again. This time it's not going to be an administrator window. We are just going to launch it normally. And here we are going to type choco minus v and let's see what it returns. Fingers crossed, hope it returns us the version number and says that Chocolatey has been installed successfully. Yes, it returns us the version number. So you'll just need this error won't occur at your end. And if it does occur at your end, you're just going to follow me. What I did, you are going to do that again and you are going to rewind the video and check if you didn't miss any step. So to the main part now we are going to install NeoVim. You are going to write Choco install NeoVim. Yes, as simple as that. And you are going to write minus y at the end. So it is going it is going to take some time to install NeoVim and we are going to wait till then and I'll fast forward the video until NeoVim is installed. So I'm here after NeoVim has been installed and congratulations you have successfully installed NeoVim in your Windows machine. To run NeoVim you just need to type nvim in your terminal and it will open NeoVim. It did not open NeoVim this time because we did not reset PowerShell and if this is the problem with your case as well you are going to relaunch PowerShell. And we are going to test a file by opening it in NeoVim. So we are going to open File Explorer in Documents. We are going to create a text document and we'll name it YouTube. We are open a terminal here and then we'll run nvim youtube.txt. So you can see it has opened the file here. And you can write anything here. I'll write Hargun and then I'll close the file. So NeoVim works perfectly fine. So you can leave the video here. And if you want some more content, and you can go on watching the video, and I'll tell you how to configure NeoVim in Windows, which is very difficult to configure it in Windows. So to configure NeoVim in Windows, you are going to this PC, then in local disk C, you are going to users and then you're going to your user in in my case which is wda gu utility account you're going to open it and then you are going to the view tab and then you are going to check mark the hidden items you're going to find app data here and then you are going to create a new folder in the app data in the app data you are going to go to the local folder and then you're going to create a new folder called nvim standing for neovim and then in the neovim folder you are going to create a file called init.vim which will hold your configurations for neovim so you will need to do one thing before this you are going to the view tab and you are, then you are going to check mark file name extensions and then you are going to create a new text document and then name it init.vim remember it has to be init.vim not a letter in and out now you can write your configuration here and I'll show you an example here I'll open the configuration file nvim init.vim so I'll write here set number it usually rumbles your lines here and it is a really cool command you can try this and I will save it by WQ and now whenever I open neovim init.vim it will show me numbers here so that's how you write your configuration files for neovim in windows and I am going to leave all the commands down in the description below and there are going to be locations in the description below as well like this one C windows system no not this one it is going to be your user app data local neovim and then init.vim if you like this video do leave a like 
and if you want more of such content please subscribe the channel and i will be coming with videos regarding neovim and i'll also make a video guiding you how to install coc which is conquer of completion in neovim so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time